you're on my blog reading this or listening to this, then you know that CASPA opens April 2016. Sometime in April, you should run the mid-April. I have a question, and that is, do you think you can get your application submitted during this uh, cycle uh, for interviews at the end of 2016? Uh, if you do, then you need to keep listening because the most important thing you can do is to submit your application early. And why is that? Because you get an early interview. And when you get an early interview, you're interviewing for one of 30 or 40 or 50 or 75 seats, not one of five next January or February 2017 interviewing then. You want to get an interview August, September this year. And so submit that application early. All right, so why is that? Why do you stand a better chance early than later on? It's called rolling admissions. You know what rolling admissions is. They interview a group of people and they offer some seats to those people right away. So each round of interviews diminishes the number of seats available. When you interview in January and February, you're interviewing for the last couple of seats. They don't have to fill those seats. I've seen Duke uh, be two or well two down that I know of, and one down not uncommonly. They're not going to take somebody that they really, really don't want at the end. So you have a much better chance at the beginning. Now, during this time, when you submit your application, you're going to be submitting the most important document of your PA career. The most important thing you will ever write, and it won't be a patient history and physical, it will be the CASPA essay, why I want to be a PA. Really, you have to think about this as the title of the interview from your point of view should be why you should give me an interview. Be thinking about that the whole time you're preparing. Now, your application is simply a reiteration of facts, and it is an exercise in patience and in following instructions. I mean, all that crap about how you have to submit uh, the transcripts on, sp on special uh, applications uh, that have to be sent into the CASPA headquarters. You have to fill it out. You know, one of the ways to do that early is to get a transcript. And when CASPA opens, you can start loading your transcript while you're waiting for the official ones to be to be uh, mailed to CASPA. So you can get them all that stuff in while you, while you're waiting, and you have to get your um, recommendations the same way. If they're going to be sent on paper, they have to be sent, you know, in a special way. Uh, CASPA has to invite them. Uh, if even if they're going to be done online, so you want to get your recommendation folks lined up. And, and then, of course, let them know when you've submitted their names because they'll be contacted shortly thereafter and should be looking for that contact. And it's better if they're contacted via email. But, uh, and most people, I think, at, uh, in this day and age uh, will be uh, happy with that. Uh, back in the old days, um, guys who weren't used to email wanted it on paper. So you, you want to be uh, you know, ahead of the game. Get your stuff early. Have those uh, interviews lined up. And, uh, and have practiced this essay five, six, seven times, written it, rewritten it, written it from different points of view, until you, you've refined it down to uh, exactly uh, you know, the very best that you could make it. Now here's the thing, it doesn't matter what your essay is, how good it is, how wonderful it is, if you have bad facts. Your whole CASPA interview is nothing but facts. The facts, GPA, GRE, recommendations all have to be good. You have to have better than a 3.0. You have to have a great GRE score. You have to have good recommendations. If all those facts are good, then they read your essay. If those facts aren't good, you're not even getting your essay read. Matter of fact, if those facts aren't good, you should save your money. Don't apply. Or at the very best, you're going to get into some iffy school and uh, be an iffy PA for the first five years of your career. So think long and hard 
about submitting without a really good GPA. Now, good facts plus good references equals SA Red. That's the formula. And like I told you before, the, the subtitle of your essay is Why You Should Pick Me for an Interview. You're writing about you, so they will pick you. So they'll give you an interview, and the interview gets you admitted. You have, what, a one in two or one in three chance when you come to the interview. That cuts it way down. You're selling yourself as a future PA in that essay. Make your prose action, not passive. Present tense, no past tense. Not was, did, have been. Bang, bang, bang. Action, action, action. No adverbs, none of this very or anything that ends in L-Y. Cut all that crap out. I'm going to give you some pointers about essays. They won't be here on YouTube. They'll be available through the blog, and some of them will only be available via uh, signing up on my email list. But they, there will be some uh, in-depth pointers available to you. If you're interested, you just need to look at the blog, and on there I'll tell you how to do that. All right. So as you write, remember that admission committee members are doing extra duty. They aren't just admission committee members. It's an extra thing that they do. You know, they're taking time out of their life, out of their exercise schedule, out of their family time, out of their time for other duties and other paperwork and the students they're teaching and all the other things they have to do. You know, even out of their sleep time to, to do this admissions work. And the admissions work falls into basically two categories. The first category is picking all the people from the application pile that they're going to um, invite for interviews and then doing the interviews and deciding who they're going to admit. Now don't give them a load of crap. You want to give them a hook, something that will catch their attention, something that will reel them into wanting to invite you, something that says I have to meet this person. Only you know what that is. I'll give you some ideas in future videos but have that in mind. This person's going to be tired. They're going to be doing this as extra duty. They're squeezing in all this stuff. It needs to be good when they read it. Hook them and reel them in line by line that you write on your essay. Now, you have to have an emotional gut impact. You know, you have to affect their lizard brain. They're going to justify with, you know, the, the logic later. But just like when we buy something, generally we buy with our gut and justify with the facts, they're going to do the same thing when they invite you for an interview. It's going to be a gut reaction. Give them a very strong emotional reason to invite you. Something memorable, something that says, I've got to meet this person. The essay convinces them that they won't be disappointed when they meet you. All right, so look for the tips on the blog to receive my advice, how to write a winning essay. I'm also going to have uh, some information on there about uh, how, to, how to get the very best recommendations. And uh, I'm going to have a series on interviewing. And then if you want me as a coach, you know, well, if that's not enough, you can hire me as a coach. That uh, option is always available to you. I look forward to interacting with you. I look forward to uh, hearing what, uh, you, uh, what you need, what more you want to know. If you sign up for my email list, I answer those emails, so don't hesitate to hit reply and ask me your questions. I look forward to helping you through this interview season and get busy, get those transcripts uh, sent to you so that when the CASPA gate is opened, you can begin loading. All right, this is Bruce from the PA Path. Talk to you later, over and out.